Well, the Death Knight of Anime here, bringing you my review for Fire Force Episode 21. Uh, so, yeah, after this, 22, 23, 23, we've only got three more episodes after this, guys. Um, yeah, I, I honestly, I, I can't believe, I can't believe, if, I can't believe, um, I can't believe after this episode we only have three more episodes left. Uh, it's, it's really been a crazy ride, honestly, with this series thus far, because the... At least the first half, or or at least the first ten, like first half to maybe ten episodes, I think we can all agree it was a little bit of a rocky ride. But now all of a sudden these episodes are like on fire, like everything is just insane, insane, insane. And yeah, I'm not gonna lie, this, this, like th this, this series in general, I think is going to be in my, is going to be in my, t is gonna be in my like top. Top five at least favorite anime of 2019. Just saying, and and I don't think I'm and I don't think it's just me saying that because I'm I'm a, because I'm reading the manga too. Like, I get, it, it it had problems in the beginning, but now I think it's really fun. But after that, it really found its groove, and all of a sudden, like these episodes have just flung have just flown by. Like, I can't believe it's like yeah. Um, but okay, getting into the into the episode itself. So. This week, the first major, the first, the first major focus of the episode was on Obi and Vulcan versus Giovanni and and getting Lisa back to her senses. And there is a very key point about this fight, which is very key point about this fight, which which was highlighted, which is which was highlighted in this in this episode, which is the strength of human will. If you really look at, at what at what Lisa is basically, at what Lisa was saying throughout this. What Lisa was saying in this episode, and and everything, Lisa has gone her entire life, uh, basically fearing of, of how powerless of how powerless she was against against the flames and human combustion. Then Giovanni gave her that power, but then Giovanni came along and gave her that power, and but in the end, it was really just a means by which to mask her fear, and because of that. It's not so much that it's not so much the important part here is not so much that Obi and Vulcan defeated her, but it's 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 proof more that, that they were French able. It's more so that, that that Obi and Vulcan were really the only ones who could like who could save her because as being the only two in Fire Force Company Eight with who didn't have powers, they could show Lisa that 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 human willpower can can overcome fear, yet. Even yet, even after they technically saved her, it's and, and yet even though they by all technical means saved her, it still wasn't the end because Giovanni, as we see, has a much deeper psychological grip on her, and so it's so whatever so it's so even though I think they've technically saved her, it's it's gonna take some time in, in order for her to like. In order for her to like properly readjust, and and I don't know if it's how, and part of that is just living, is is just like living as as, as far away from as, as far away from Giovanni as much as she possibly can, and just forgetting him. Like like, like Giovanni said, she's gone through some. Her 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 basically mind has been her mind. Like Giovanni himself, he's a scumbag, but he admit, but he admits that that because of because of Lisa's weak will, he was able to exploit her. He was able to exploit her. He was able to mess with her mind and just and and just get and just and just really like mess mess with her. So even if she even if she escapes with them, there's going to be a little bit of a of a recovery process for her, and. <sighs> And one interesting thing to point out, like during this fight, is that what is, is is that when we get to the like the, the reveal that I don't know if it's a reveal, but when we get when we see like like Giovanni's like the, the mechanized monstrosity underneath Giovanni's clothes, like the, his his whole mechanized body and whatnot, um, the anime believe, believe it or not, the end. This is actually something the anime did kind of better than the manga because. The anime got a, a little more up close, personal, and graphic than the manga did, believe it or not, and, and actually kind of showing us just, just a little more up close of, of what his his mechanized body underneath that cloak looks like. Whereas with the whereas with the uh, 
Whereas with the manga, it didn't get as as up close or as detailed as that. So, yeah, that's that's actually a point to the anime I gotta give. Um, <sighs> I another thing I like is how even even though he had already quickly adapted to to pretty much life with Company Eight, the episode also served as a test for Vulcan to really see how much he was willing to put his trust and faith in others. Others again, especially considering how. His entire life, he was he he distrust he has distrusted everyone, but at the same time, it's still it's still turning completely on its head when when we get the reveal that that pretty much that Vulcan shooting that Vulcan shooting um shooting Obi was was basically part of was basically part of their ruse and that that they that from what I see that they they'd even planned beforehand and. Yeah, the 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 the, 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 the little the, the, even the, the little verbal the little verbal thing that they they said about how how one said not telling and then how Vulcan goes in and exp explains what what he did it uh, <laughs> it kind of it was kind of a it was kind of the cherry it was kind of a cherry on top as, as a bit of a verbal joke that just kind of that just kind of openly mocks the whole idea of, of basically telling your plan to your enemy like. I, I, like obviously, like like they they, they 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 missed a little scene of of basically Vulcan and of of Vulcan and and Obi saying like oh oh look I told him shouldn't I have and then Obi says nah he's nah he's annoying don't bother like they they, they missed that is is it would have been the perfect topper to, to perfect topper to the joke but as is it it just it's like a total freaking it's just a total freaking mockery of that whole idea and I love it. Um, now, back, now, the back and forth between Obi and Giovanni is a very, um, interesting conversation in itself about the nature of belief and religion and what, what not, but through that we also get alluded to the fact that the evangelist might not in fact be human, and yeah, considering the latest chapter I've read, that actually might be a little more true than you think, because... Like the the anime as of right now is going into amazing places, but the manga is really getting into some with the with some really hot and heavy shit right now. Although, just within, but again, just within this episode alone, we can see there's already some like there is some borderline godly satanic shit going on right now with. Right, right now in this episode, and with and and alludes to what's happening within the story now too, like it it goes just beyond like we we can see just within this episode that it goes beyond just people turning into infernals. And let me tell you, whatever happens beyond this point, it's actually it actually gets even crazier than that. Uh, we also get a major reveal that everything going on with human combustion can be tied back to the to. To the to to the to the like 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 the like like the like like the like like the 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 like that's the major thing to take away from this is that they want to the, the, the big thing they're the big thing they're doing is they're trying to cause a, a major another like they said like they said before they're trying to cause a ma another major like cataclysm or another major another major event and having show having sh like linking show and Shinra together is basically how is part of how they're going to do it um now, how now? Obviously, how the Amaterasu fits in this is something else entirely. But yeah, it's um, yeah, it's it's kind of crazy. Yeah, it's all it's all very it's all very crazy. Um, now, also, I recognize there are areas where I haven't been as fair to the anime as I probably should, especially in the, in this back half for sure. But I will say it here. Aside from maybe the initial bit with the demon popping out of the ground, that whole like Shinra's whole nightmare sequence was beautifully animated, beautifully like beautiful artwork, beautiful animation. Like it was all amazing. I mean, there the, are the moments, there are moments throughout that whole sequence, no joke, where 
I was literally entranced by what was on the screen. So, yeah, I, I gotta give props to the anime, because that, because that whole, like, nightmare sequence of, 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 Shin, of Shinra's, of Shinra being, like, met by that demon who, we can assume is 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 his mo is his mother transformed into a into an infernal. Uh, that is le like that's the type of imagery that gives me the same that gives me the same type of goosebumps that from Soul Leader, and even to a more explicit degree, Berserk would give me like that that, that whole that whole nightmare sequence that felt like something out of out of a combo of like Soul Leader and Berserk and whatnot and like I, and the thing is I I thought it was creepy in the. I thought it was I thought it was pretty dark in the manga, but yeah, when when you add when you add visuals, when you add music, when you add all that to to, to a scene like that, it kind of ups the creep factor quite a bit, and I love it. Um, of course, I suppose we could say that was just the taste, because when we get to the Sheen vs. Show rematch, holy fuck balls, was that intense? Just. Everything from art, animation to fucking camera, to fucking camera animation and angles. Just everything, like the, the pretty much show versus the show versus Shinra fight in this episode is something that really should be shown, like in in an in, in if if you're gonna if you're gonna animate a fight scene because they because David Production just completely cut loose and they show just what they can do with this. And they showed exactly what they could do with this fight scene. It was, it was intense. It was, it was insane. It was just, everything was amazing. Um, the only thing I worry about is that is is just how much is just how much this one fight scene cut into their animation budget. But beyond, but beyond that, it was, it was time, effort, and money well spent. Like. An ama yeah, that it, it was an amazing fight scene, and and, and yeah, uh, and yeah. Well, going back to what I said before, the, the the episode ends in the episode with their fight, pretty much. The episode ends like I, I suppose mid fight for them, and the the episode itself, like it it shows them like in in this like hell dimension or something like that. So yeah, this again is alluding to the fact that there is a higher that there is some kind of there is some kind of higher higher power here, whether or not it's religious or not. There is something here, and it's it's probably and it's probably a little bit more of a and from what can be described, from what we know so far, it's probably like a, a, a it's probably what we consider like a, a, a third a third generation ability. But yeah, it's I'm really wondering what I this this is gives the whole the whole the whole mystery of the Adola link the the burst all that a whole new interesting meaning now. And I can't wait to see and like yeah, like I said, things go go real crazy from here. Uh but yeah guys, that's all I got for this review. If you enjoyed the video, like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Electric Control. That might have been me, signing off. Later guys.